What is going on, guys? My name is Versace, and I hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm bringing in the first commentary on my channel. I'm going to be playing some tedium in the background. Um, it is live, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but hopefully you enjoy it. Um, today, I'm going to be telling you a pretty crazy life story. So, um, sit back, relax, and I hope this entertains you. Now, basically... This, hap this all happened like two weeks ago, and I'm pretty sure it's still going on. But basically, basketball season started. And I should have tried out for the team, but I didn't. I, I, I could have made it. I'm not. I'm pretty good at basketball. So anyway, um, tryouts were hosted recently. So basketball teams were picked, and they had their first tournament of the season. The seasons always start out with the tournament for some reason at my school. God. So... Um, there's some guys on the team who pro who aren't the aren't the best, and I'm not talking basketball skills or athleticism in general. I'm basically talking about grades, behavior, decision making. So there's this one guy. Um, I'm not gonna tell you his name because I feel like somebody from my school is gonna find this and they're gonna know who I'm talking about. Well, so I'm just gonna call him Jeff. So there's this guy named Jeff and. You know, he's not the best basketball player. He's probably one of the worst on the team. Uh, he was good during the football season. He's super popular. But, you know, not that great at basketball. Now, there's this other guy. And um, he's actually my friend. And, I mean, he makes stupid decisions. But he's smart. He's funny. But sometimes he just makes stupid decisions. We all have those friends. So basically, this guy, um, I'm gonna call him, I don't know, Rick, Ricky, okay. So Ricky and Jeff have been somewhat friends for a while. Where is this guy? Have been somewhat friends for a while. I mean, they talk every once in a while. They're not super close or anything. But when basketball season started, Jeff wasn't doing too hot on the court. And he was scared that um, our coach was gonna cut him. Now, basically, what he did was he wanted to get pumped up. So, we all know that, like, hype is a great way to do well. If you're really hyped to do something, you, like, are gonna probably, like, try your best at it. And you're, if you try your best, you're probably not gonna do too bad. You're probably gonna do pretty good. So, what this guy did to get pumped up was drugs. Now, this is where my friend comes in. Okay, so my friend Ricky... He was sick um, all of the week before basketball season, so his mom took him to the doctor and the doctor prescribed him some medicine. Now um, this medicine, I guess if you mix it with certain things, it can turn into a drug that gets you like pumped up. So when people found out that like he had this cough medicine, particularly some of the like bad kids on the basketball team, they you know wanted it they were willing to buy it from or buy some from him to um mix with the stuff you needed to mix it to so they could get pumped up before their games now um my friend he he's like all into money he, he claims he's like rich but i mean all my friends know that he like actually isn't rich he just likes saying it um so obviously he's gonna get bribed so these kids offered him a good amount of money so he brought the cough syrup to school and i guess they had all the other things he needed so they brought it and um in the locker room before the games i mean my friend isn't on the team so he just gives them the cough medicine in the locker room before the games um the kids that were using it would mix it with all this stuff and they'd drink it and they'd get pumped up now this happened for the first five games or so and then I guess we started getting around pretty quickly that these kids were doing this. So basically, this is kind of a funny part here. Um, the basketball coach for my grade is also an art teacher. So he has um, seven periods a day with uh, a ton of students. He has a ton of students. So his students started telling him about this. Like, oh, your basketball players are doing drugs in the locker room before the game so he didn't believe them at first but he kept a close eye and he caught them but he didn't do anything about it when he saw it 
basically he came up with this elaborate plan now in the next game he called the um, campus police and they brought the dogs in now nobody knew but him and um while they were like in the locker room they brought like two policemen in and the drug dog now obviously suddenly you could the um, the two guys were panicking they were in a complete panic they didn't know what to do and the dog obviously found it they got suspended for two I mean for three days or something um they got placed in I don't know, alternative for a while and yeah it was a pretty funny situation that the coach would like not do anything about it when he saw it and just let the dog come in I thought that was kind of funny um but you know don't do drugs guys because you're gonna get caught with it okay I don't know one person in our school who's gotten away with doing drugs okay you hear an incident about them every once in a while people doing drugs and my school is probably the, the second best in the district and this is a middle school so obviously middle schools are chock full of this stuff but our school is one of the better in the district so you don't hear about a lot of kids doing this and so when you do word gets around pretty fast but word gets around pretty fast in all these other places and teachers and staff members administration you know guys they're not stupid if you think you're outsmarting them you're probably not just just assume that you're not outsmarting them because you're most likely not so just don't do them because you're gonna get caught you're gonna get in a lot of trouble and it can really hurt you in the future it can prevent you from getting jobs going to college Uh, it can it can really hurt you guys just from one incident oh yes this is the gun I wanted the speakeasy I wanted the one that has like the drum attached yeah I mean these guys are pretty stupid and I guess they didn't rat out my friend um but I mean he's lucky these these guys are still talking to him and you know I don't hang around him as much after you know all the things he's done and yeah I just I don't trust him as much anymore after this whole instant incident yeah don't get involved don't don't really um be i mean always be friendly to your friends but i mean if they're making stupid decisions tell tell them that they're making stupid decisions and don't hang around them as much because if they're doing something bad and you're in the area you're probably gonna get blamed too even if you know you're not doing it so Make sure to stay away from that. Ah, oh, I thought that guy jumped in the other way. I didn't really see. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to talk about, since we still have this game left, is live streaming. Now, one my situation here is that I'm using this mic, but see, this mic that I'm using really only... It's a professional mic, but it really only gets picked up with Audacity whenever I use my Elgato software. It doesn't get picked up, so I can't stream straight from my software. And um, with OBS, if I record my capture window, the the gameplay is going to be behind what? The gameplay is going to be behind the audio. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download the Elgato 2.4 and 2.0 software so I can add my overlay and all that. And then I'm just going to use my um, iMac mic because, I mean, it'll pick it up and iMac mics are pretty damn good mics or, you know, built-in stuff. And so I think I'm just going to do that until I have enough money to pick up the Blue Snowball because I spent my $100 from Valentine's Day on the Elgato. Oh. So, yeah. Looks like we're losing here to pick it up. I'm actually going to drop this drone down here. But um, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Hopefully this taught you a few things and make sure you don't get caught in any of that. Because it just it's not good. Um, but hopefully this helped you out. Be sure to check out my stream down below. Probably going to be streaming later tonight after this goes up. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys.